before you see this next clip, just know, I know, I know. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a vlog. This is going to be a weekend vlog. We have plenty to do. It's Saturday at 1.30 and I'm just now having breakfast. I've had coffee, obviously, but I have not had my breakfast. I usually don't start my days off this late, but it was a week. I'm being very classy right now and I'm having a very basic breakfast. Okay, let me go grab a bowl. Actually... <laughs> I'm very classy. Most of the items that I need are in my dishwasher. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm going to be really busy today. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I need to build two dressers. Thanks to Mom Dukes. I saw her build everything, I feel like, for our house. So I'm quite used to having to build things. I haven't opened this one, so that's why I'm shaking it. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to have to build two dressers. I'm basically reorganizing my closet. I'm going to show you guys. We'll get into that later. <laughs> but just know, like, <laughs> don't judge me, okay? Because I'm trying to be transparent. And I'm trying to show you guys my life. You know what I mean? Just be more open and all those things and just not be so covert. And the reason why I'm even wanting to organize things right now, this late in the game, is because I will be moving and I need to have things organized before I start packing. So anyway, I'm moving and it's not really a big move. Like it's not like I'm going like to the other part of the city or down the block. Honestly, I'm just moving to another sublet. I will be still be in the same complex. I'm moving to a different unit. The floor plan will be very similar. It's just gonna have a couple renovations. And I had to do this. Actually, wait, that's a good story time. Let me go grab a spoon and we can sit down and we can talk about why I'm even moving in the first place. Am I the only person that prefers to eat their cereal with a small spoon when they eat their cereal? Well, I only have big spoons, so there's that. The reason why I'm moving is not because I actually wanted to move. Well, I did want to move, but I didn't want to like, like I didn't want to move for the reasons that I'm moving. <laughs> Long story short, I got my renewal letter and it was an additional $300. They wanted me to renew for 12 months for an additional $300. Now, when I first moved into this apartment, it was their, at the time, renovated apartment. Now we're under new management and they're completely like renovating all of the apartment, even more so than my apartment. So when I received this renewal letter, I was like, okay, well, y'all must be about to, you know, renovate some stuff up in here, right? So I go to the front office and I'm like, hey, um, yeah, so I got the renew letter. Really want to, you know, renew with you guys. I've been here for two years, but this is way too much. Like, are you guys planning on giving me renovations? Yada, yada, yada. And so she's like, well, we're not renovating any of the apartments because we're actually doing renovations. Like, we're doing different renovations now. She showed me how they're going to look, all that stuff. Gave me the key to look at another spot. And I'm like, okay, well, well how much are those going for? And she's like, the same price that your renewal is for. And I'm like, what? So you mean to tell me I could get a newly renovated place for the same price with just better, just better, period, and pay the same price of what I would have to pay here if I renewed in this same apartment? She was like, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. And I'm like, let me check out the renovated apartments. Let me see if they're even worth the $300 additional dollars. And if I feel that way, that probably will be the route that I take because if the only thing that you can offer me in this apartment that I've been in for two years and want to increase the rent for $300 a month more is cleaning my carpet, then I probably would just go ahead and take the new the new apartment especially if there isn't any transfer fees there's like no additional deposit nothing like it's literally just like a clean slate then okay I'll probably just do that obviously I like the renovated apartment so that's what I'm doing so yes I'm moving no it's not a huge move but yeah that's why I want to organize and that's why I'm organizing my closet and that's why I'm trying to build two dressers <laughs> outside of building those dressers I also need to go to Target I want to get some matcha I want to start making matcha at home and I feel like matcha just keeps me like you know caffeinated all throughout the day it's like a, a coffee buzz like a just a steady coffee buzz whereas coffee is more of a like you drink it and then you crash you know gotta go to Home Depot I need to go to CVS my dog gashed his ear anyway I've had a heck of a morning and I will catch you guys once I start actually running some errands. Welcome to the vlog. 
Hey y'all, so I'm actually taking a detour. I need to go, before I start my errands, I actually need needed to go to Goodwill. So I'm actually in line now for Goodwill. And I thought this would be a perfect time to remind you girls who currently have bags that you've been meaning to drop off to Goodwill in your trunk or in your car. Now's a great time, just go drop it off, babe. I've been wanting to take this bag to Goodwill for like at least a month. I need to do better. After this, we're gonna go to Home Depot. Then we're gonna go grab some food. Definitely grab some food because that Fruity Pebbles did absolutely positively nothing for my hungry headache. And that's on me because I woke up at like 7.30 and then I decided not to eat until two o'clock. I probably won't bring you guys in Home Depot because I always get lost and I always need help. So probably shouldn't bring my phone because that's just going to be another distraction. I was today years old when I found out that Ulta has like a point system where like your points build up and they give you cash back value. I had $30, $30 worth of points and I was able to use that and I was like that's just nuts to me. I'm going to do a quick little Ulta haul. I kind of got carried away. found a couple of things that I know I want to get soon come but for now i did get like three items i'm gonna do a quick little haul i got the elf Rollist putty primer i've saw now two channels recommend this you guys know i was using the makeup revolution london face primer to blur my pores and i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like it was making my face more oily like it worked that one or two times that i used it but then after that like it just didn't work anymore and I feel like it was actually making my poor problem worse but either way I wanted to try this because I've heard good things about it I have the poor professional by benefit but I don't really like that one because I feel like it just is not it dries out my skin it's not hydrating and you guys know I have dry skin speaking of benefit I got the benefit this is like their blush slash bronzer I feel like it's in the shade Java it's like the perfect cool tone bronzer. I've been looking for a cool tone brown, rich brown bronzer for my skin that's a powder, not just the cream contour. I feel like right now all I have are warm bronzers and I don't know, I just want something a little bit more cool and rich for the fall months. And then lastly, I got the NYX felt tip brow pencil or brow pen, I should say. Y'all know I love a hairy brow, so I had to pick this up, okay? I saw a tutorial on this on YouTube. I actually added that video to one of my playlists so if you guys are looking for a brow routine check her out I really like what she did so I got these three items and I only paid $22 my total was $54 and because of my points I only paid $22 it was meant for me to go in there today so I ended up going to Walgreens to go get the gauze for my dog when I was walking into Walgreens there was actually this table set up for lead it's an acronym the lead program they help with kids they help them stay out of violence so I had to donate I guess he's selling these hats as a means to get donations and I didn't want the hat I did not want the hat I gave him the cash and I was like you know it's okay I don't want I do not want one of these hats but he would not let me leave without taking one of the hats so this is so cute even if I don't wear it it's still cute to have and it says good vibes i just feel like today's a good day so i also ate if you haven't noticed i get very hangry so when i don't eat it takes some time for me to get back to my normal self <laughs> but now i feel refreshed rejuvenated drinking my strawberry lemonade from wendy's yet another item that has me on a chokehold and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and just go home and then i'll check back in with you guys then sorry for not bringing you guys in Ulta or Walgreens but honestly I don't even know if you guys would have found value in it I think I have one or two clips I might put that in if you haven't seen that I am gonna start heading home now I'm so excited I got my drill oh okay all right I'll talk to you guys in a bit
so this is how both of them are looking i feel like they look so cute they look so really good like if i do say myself they look pretty level except for this is that just because of the angle yeah i think that was just because of the angle it's because of the angle of the camera but they look pretty level they look very sleek they look very just exactly what i wanted for my closet they slide out really good i like the inside the board it doesn't feel very cheap very sturdy there's like one little small little stain right there but i honestly feel like i can just probably wipe it that off pretty pleased with the way things are looking i am as you can imagine very tired i put both of those together and i actually um took like a small intermission i had to do some volunteer work very proud of myself but i wanted to show you guys what i'm gonna put in the drawers because i actually went and bought drawer organizers and when i say I went and bought I got some stuff off Amazon so let me show you guys what I got so I was really worried because I was thinking that it wasn't gonna get here in time but it actually came so yay okay so anyway it just came a couple of hours ago so literally saved by the bell anyhow I got my AC on so if the audio gets weird I'm sorry it got real hot <sighs> need the AC but I got these <laughs> You're probably like, girl, what? <laughs> Let me rip them open so you guys can even see what what they are. Basically, they're these. Oh, no, actually, it does look pretty good. They come folded. They're drawer organizers, so you put them in a drawer. And I'm going to use these for like underwear, socks. It came with six pieces. So I'm going to show you guys like once I actually like... Put everything in it and everything looks all organized and pretty and cute and stuff but this is so cute oh my god no this is the one i'm gonna use for my underwear i think there's another one like for your bras like lay out your bras maybe this isn't a good way to show you guys hopefully once i have everything organized i don't know am i gonna show you guys my bras probably also i know i look a mess okay before you see this next clip just know i know this is my closet. It is such a mess. Like there's no organization. So I'm gonna walk in here so you guys can actually see it. But basically, you guys can see there are, like I don't have any drawers in here. I've just been using these plastic containers. I'm so ashamed. Don't judge, it gets worse. Yeah, so the, I have containers here and then I have containers there. They're like six drawers. Honestly, a lot of this stuff I just need to give away. I know. So we're going to do that today. When you walk in my closet, you have all this space below here. And I had my shoes, like I had that shoe rack there. Um, but then I decided, no, I'm just going to get those two dressers. I'm going to put the dresser here, two drawer one right there, and then have my shoes stacked up over there. I think I'm going to end up having to buy another one of these. I have too many shoes, so I need to clean the dust. I need. There's just so much to do in this closet, all right? So... We're going to be working on that. Like I said, I know, this is ridiculous. This is sad, honestly. It's quite comical, especially with me being so OCD, but that's how you know a system is not working. When it starts just getting scattered and crazy, you need to redesign your system or recreate. Find the loopholes, find the gaps. Anyway, I'm a continuous improvement specialist at this point. All right, so let's just get started. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my God, please don't judge me. But I promise you, like after we're done, it's gonna look so good. And then when I move into my new place, oh, we're starting fresh, we're starting new. I love it here. take a shower i'm still so embarrassed like you guys have no idea i think the rest of this honestly will just be not me talking because i'm exhausted and i need to listen to some music to put me back in my cleaning building mold <laughs>
very much sorting through everything. I have my bag. I have my bag of things that I'm going to give away. So I gotta go to Goodwill again. And then I have like these stacks of just clothes everywhere. I finally organized everything. Went ahead and bought another nightstand. It's supposed to be here Wednesday. And then I also ordered some more drawer organizers because I want to have those in my drawers for my shirts and pants as well. And then I'm gonna figure out a system of how I want to actually hang up my pants because I don't think I want any of my bottoms, including sweatpants. So I think I'm going to hang those up as well. So let me just show you guys what everything is looking like so far. Definitely not the final product, but for sure progress in the right direction, I feel. Um, I'm really liking how it's looking and I'm really excited for the move. So I'm gonna feel even more excited to move in and have like my things already organized. Definitely gonna be a part two to this. So if you guys actually wanna check and see the progress of everything, then I definitely recommend keeping up with the vlogs because I'm going to be vlogging the whole moving and renovation home improvement process. Okay, so you guys remember how everything was looking before. We had the containers here overflowing with clothes, just quite the mess, right? But now that's not there. We have the dresser here and then we have my purses. Honestly, I'm not really sure if I want to keep this like this. I just feel like... It does look sort of aesthetically pleasing, but I know I'm going to have more purses. Honestly, all my purses don't even fit up there, so I got to figure that out. Love that for us. And then when you turn the quinta, you see the nightstand. So it's definitely enough room to add another nightstand there or a two-drawer dresser, whatever. It's, a, <laughs> it's enough space to add another one, so we're going to do that. And then that's going to be the dresser for my uh, pants and bottoms, I believe. I removed everything that's on this shelf. I don't think that I'm going to use this shelf space. So far, the shoe rack is coming along. I am going to have to order, or at least go to Home Depot, because I think I got these from Home Depot. Get at least two more of those to go on the, that wall as well, because I want, I don't want any shoes, like, on the carpet like period like I don't want any I just want everything in a rack so yeah that's how everything looks it's very a lot cleaner than it was let's just say that I want to show you guys how the drawers are looking I'm still putting things in but this is like my underwear and then on this side I have like certain things categorized so like I have like my my thongs <laughs> my stringy thongs and then my regular thongs and the seamless this is my second drawer and I decided to do bras here and I really love this organizer like look at that that is just so ugh. like I can't believe I've been sleeping on doing this I have my bralettes there so I organized them by color overall just really 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 impressed with those draw organizers which is why I'm ordering more thought I was gonna put sleeping clothes in this um, drawer but I'm not I'm actually gonna just do socks so I'm gonna order another one of the separators for that I might just do it like a tub because honestly the rest of my socks are just plain black so that's how everything is looking I'm gonna catch you guys in the next vlog like I said stay tuned if you want to see my progress with all of these little projects that I'm gonna be doing and I'll catch you guys in the next one